All right, ladies, let's pick teams for dodgeball. Connie, would you like to be a captain? Sure. I pick everyone except Meg. Fair enough. Go! Ow! Hey, where's everybody going? That's not how we end this class. Good job today. Good job today. Great class. Nice hustle. Hey, everybody, guess what I am. Oh, the end result of a drunken backseat grope fest and a broken prophylactic. Well, this is boring. Let's go see what Meg is up to. Hello, Meg. Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> oh, there, there. Let me dry those tears. Oh, yes, yes, your anguish sustains me. Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Hey, Meg, will you hold this for Daddy? Okay. Why? Uh, it's a present. It's a thanks for being such a sweetie watermelon. So you'll hang on to that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. This is weird. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! I got a makeover, Dad. Don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful just to wake <laughs> Oh, 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 God. Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. I'm sick of Lois's anger management techniques, Brian. They're not working. Well, what about the writing angry letters and not sending them exercise? Oh, jeez, I wasn't supposed to send those? Hey, look, I got a letter from Dad. Dear Meg, for the first four years of your life, I thought you were a house cat. Meg, I need you to babysit Stewie tomorrow afternoon. Mom, you know I go to the mall on Saturdays. I mean, I do have a life. Hey, what time is it? We're gonna miss the movie. Yeah, let's go, everyone. <laughs> hey, hey! Meg, honey, I did all your laundry. Oh, my God, what is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting. No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, oh, God, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh, my God, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. Get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Come on, kids, we've been through worse. Meg, you, you remember when you found out your gynecologist never finished med school? All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Oh, I know just how you feel, pumpkin. I've had my share of disappointments, too. It's a girl. Can, can, you, can you check again? And I know this isn't the first time I've embarrassed you. And if you add the measure of the angles of a right triangle, the sound Hey, Meg, do you mind cleaning out the shower next time you shave your legs? It's like a carpet in there. Your dog wrote an insensitive tweet. You can't eat here. Uh-oh, Meg. It's a sensitivity mob. It was just a joke. There's no such thing as jokes anymore. Yeah, we live in a post-joke world. Chris, maybe we should just eat outside? No, Meg, we're eating here. I'd like to see you try.
was a joke. Look, Meg, it's your little baby booties. Oh, and your little bronze hat. And your tail. My what? Nothing. Oh, you hear that, Meg? Guys can marry other guys now. So, um, oh, this is awkward, but, uh, I mean, if they can do that, that's pretty much it for you, isn't it? I mean, you might as well pack it in. Game over. So, are you ready? For what? For the fun we're gonna have, Brian. We're gonna have fun tonight. Good, old, fashioned, all American fun. Listen, Meg, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, just relax. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... You... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on, that one doesn't even have an H in it. I just want to kill myself. I'm going upstairs right now and eat a whole bowl of peanuts. I'm allergic to peanuts! You don't know anything about me! Who was that guy? Your family has something they'd like to say to you. Brian, I know I don't speak up much, and it's it's really hard for me to talk about my feelings, but... W wh why don't we start with someone more interesting, Peter? That's where I go to make out with my boyfriend, Darren Mitchell Stork. Yep, he's, uh, he's the chairman of the soccer... Ball team. Well, all right. Make sure you practice safe sex, Meg. <laughs> you little liar. Oh, my God, that's Meg Griffin. She just got out of prison. Hey, Meg, what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, what happened? Did you get out early for fat behavior? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. Did you get your butt hair braided too while you were in there? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do, carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Ha <laughs> ha, pee you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, are you gonna take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, uh, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna be in the hospital that night. Oh! 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 Now remember, Chris, we have to work together so that our steps. <laughs> You kids are the most important thing in our lives. Oh, my God, we forgot Meg. Don't worry about Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. Am I talking to myself up there? Oh, my God, Stewie, just shut up and go to bed. Do you know what I do, Meg? I spit in your mouth while you sleep. Um... Hi, can I help you? Yeah, some company hired me to stand next to you all day so you'd look better by comparison. That's ridiculous. I don't hey, need... Hey, Meg, do you get less ugly? Yeah. Dear diary, Kevin is so hot. Today, he was out in the yard raking leaves. <laughs> God, I wish he'd throw me into that pile of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's everybody... Oh, my God, my diary! I hate you all! Keep going. Hey, where's Meg? What is it, sir? That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Oh, this is gonna be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories. <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> Sunshine Bear! Wait! <laughs> Peter, enough with the storytelling. We gotta get out of here. They're gonna kill Meg. Oh, yeah? Over Meg's dead body. So, is, uh, is this, like, the part where you guys have your way with me? What? You know, where I'm, like, helpless and you guys take turns, you know?
Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! What'd she say? She asked if we were gonna have our way with her. Ew! No, seriously, I won't scream or anything. No! No, I... I no, no sale. Come on! I'm pretty! Ah! 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 <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I was so scared. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have? You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. So we're all going to have to pitch in and help your father out now that he's lost his sight. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Days spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. So you're a, you're a flag girl. That's great, Meg. Yes, yes. Now you can be somewhere else when the boys don't call. <laughs> Come on, Meg. The competition is this Sunday, and you're not even close to ready. Maybe if you loosen my chains? We tried that, remember, honey? You can't be trusted. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, Meg, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, Peter? Hey, way to go, Stuart. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. You're so good with animals. Wow, this place is awesome. I know. Hey, you want to dance around like morons to loud music? I'll be right back. I've been holding in a dump since America. Griffin Residence. Hi, Dad. It's me. Just wanted you to know I got here safe. And sound? Yes, Dad. And sound. Oh, good. The sound is what concerns me. Oh, it's so amazing here, Dad. Yeah. You should see it. Uh -huh. The apartment we're staying in is huge uh -huh. and has an incredible view uh -huh. of... <gasps> Dad, something's going on. Some men just broke in. <gasps> oh, my God! They've got Ruth! <gasps> and now I think they're coming after me. All right, Meg. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Panic. Pay no attention to detail. Let your mind race. Take short, rapid breaths. Then hide under the bed, but leave two of your feet sticking out. Oh my god, Dad. Are they gonna take me? I'm so scared. <gasps> Meg? Meg? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is two dollars and a Casio wristwatch. You can have one of them. Dracar Noir. These guys are serious. Lois, Meg's dead! Hey, give me my purse, you psycho! Let's see, makeup, chewing gum, a picture of Meg in a two-piece swimsuit. Oh! God, I pray this is not my first memory. Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my God, there's Malcolm in middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are. What time do you suppose it is, Brian? I don't know, about 3.30. Watch the sidewalk. My God, is that... Meg? 36D, Brian. And you know what's amazing? In this universe, she's still one of the ugly ones. Looks like your fans are back, Mom. Meg, 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 no, I think this one's all yours. Meg, 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 I guess beggars can be choosers. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any. How do these jeans look? Ah! Hey, guys. Is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her. Stewie? Hey, how school? Hi, Stewie. Listen, I am swamped, but, uh, Mom has kept me up to date on everything you're doing, and I think it's just great. Hanging up now. Oh, my God, it's a chick! Ay, Dios mío, una chick! I don't feel anything! 
<laughs> now she knows how I felt when I was at her piano recital. <laughs> <laughs> now no, you're doing fine, man. Excuse me, girls. We're about to start roller derby in a minute. Wait, wait. You. What's your name? Me? May Griffin. Would you mind standing up? Whoa. What, what, what are you doing? My God. The magic ratio. What's that? It means your ankles, calves, and thighs are all the same thickness. How would you like to try out for the roller derby team? Really? Do it, Meg. Yeah, Meg, you should totally do it. Meg's talking to a boy. Okay, sure. What the heck? Here, take my card. I am a registered sex offender. Flip it over. Important. See other side. Give me that. I'm the roller derby coach. See you at tryouts. I can't believe my stupid parents are going to spend five days following stupid old kiss around. It's painful. Not half as painful as a tire iron upside your head. What? I'll miss you. It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> and besides, he's been great with the kids. I mean, Chris is doing better in school, and Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... How about a movie? I don't go out with dudes. Uh, Peter, I think we forgot Meg. Uh, all right, next up, does everyone have a lab partner? I don't. Me neither. She can be my partner. Sarah, that's very irresponsible. Meg is awful. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, Meg, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, Peter? Hey, way to go, Stewie. Peter, could you please pass the potato? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! <laughs> ah, sorry, Peter. I can't make it tonight. I have a date. <laughs> Dad! Dad, I can't go through the vent. Yeah, she's right. We need to grease her up so she doesn't get stuck. Everybody spit on Meg! Stop! Stop! You got... Ah! Stop! Stop! Okay. You know, I don't care what you guys think. All my new lesbian friends accept me. And that's all that matters. Meg, you're my daughter. I would accept you if you were gay or blind or retarded, but you're not. Wow, this looks just like my room at home. Yeah, except for all the trophies and pictures of friends. Dad! What is it? What's going on? I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? Ah! Oh, God, Meg, you startled me. I'm so... Well, well, it appears your fates have conspired in our favor, eh, Meg? Look, stay away from me, Neil. Just because we're working together does not mean I have to like you. Give it to me! What's that? Give it to me, Neil. Give it to me! Give it to me, Neil! Yeah, that'll work just fine. Dad, how do you know Neil will show up? Don't worry, Meg. I sent him an invitation he couldn't refuse. Strange. These conventions usually have Segway parking. Hello? Am I too late for the Q&A? Yeah, but you're just in time for the T&A. This is Griffin. What, what are you... Shh, 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 shh. You can call me Mystique. Mrs. Griffin, this is wrong. Well, 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 look at this, Meg. Your boyfriend is violating both your contract and my wife. Uh, Meg, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, Mrs. Griffin was just... How oh, you're bending it? I don't care. You've nullified the contract. I'm free! <laughs> free? I don't understand, Meg. You don't want to be my girlfriend? Well, I thought I did, but I guess I was just jealous. I see. Well, Meg, I want you to be with me because you want to be with me, not because you have to. Thank you, Neil. Cecilia, it's the gold man. How about we fire up the old Segway and find a nice, quiet field to do long division in? I, I mean, a nice, quiet field in which to do long division, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Okay, I'm on my way. Say, Meg, looking sharp. You want to go out after the game tonight? Neil, I'm a flag girl now. I'm way too cool to be seen with you. Really? Not even if I smoke this corn cob pipe? Again? Thanks for doing my book report, Neil. And I didn't even have to change the handwriting because you write like a girl. You should see me throw. Listen, Meg, would you want to go to a movie sometime? You know what? I'd like that. It's a date. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Homek just got out. 
I'm gonna go lick all their bowls. Hey, Neil. Oh, hey, hey, Chris. You sure are spending a lot of time with my sister lately. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think that fish are ghosts. And I'd also think you're putting the moves on Meg. <sighs> Listen, Chris. You're my friend, so I have to confess. My sitting with you at lunch was part of a carefully laid out plan to get close to your sister. What? Like, I know it sounds terrible, but, but still, we've had some good times together. We even got Sean Penn to dress up as my dad. Go away! I never want to talk to you again! I don't think so. Neil, I'm a little out of your league. Besides, I'm going with Lando. Really? Because my underground sources have informed me that Lando's taking Connie D'Amico. What? What do you think of that, Neil? Daddy bought you a girlfriend. Excuse me, if anybody's interested, I already have a girlfriend. There's no way... Wait, what? You ready to go, honey? You rejected me too many times, Meg. I couldn't wait for you forever. Besides, Cecilia thinks my psoriasis is sexy. I can't believe he's over me. You know, this is nice. It's actually the first time I've been on a date since I got the nickname Gutterball. It is nice. Here, hold still. Make a wish. What did you wish for? This. You used me just so you could date my sister! Oh my god! Chris? I'm so sorry! What have I done? Aw, oh, crap. What we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. Finally, we go to Meg Griffin for a special Channel 5 junior anchor segment on the moon. Meg? The moon. There's a reason no one goes there. It's cold. And it's ugly. And its surface is plagued with deep craters and jagged peaks. <gasps> oh, wait. That's not the moon. It's Neil Goldman's face. Recently, many of you saw me kissing this freak of nature. But if I didn't think I was seconds away from death, I would have never done it. I mean, who in their right mind would? Well... I went to the streets to find out. Would you kiss this guy? Ugh, no. No way! No. 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 Oh, God, no. What's the matter with you? Oh. It's official. Neil Goldman is unkissable. Hear that, Neil? I don't like you, and I never will. Back to you, Tom. You, you. Oh, get into my car. Oh. Neil, you. would you? I would be get honored. Thanks. Look, Neil, I need an activity to get into Brown, and the paper is my last hope. Can I be a reporter? I don't know, Meg. You never seem to be that interested in journalism, or journalists, such as myself. <sighs> you know, I never realized how smooth the skin between your acne is. <gasps> okay, I'll give you a shot. I've never been able to get an interview with the mayor of Quahog. You get it, and I'll make you a reporter. You got it. Run, little rabbit, run. But someday our two worlds will be one. I sure hope my face clears up by then. Once Chris gets up there, my friend in the AV department will take care of everything. Okay, Meg, remember our deal. I do this for you, and I have your permission to think about you later tonight when I'm in the tub. Fine, Neil. Awesome. I might even go lefty tonight. Stranger in the tub. Try to move in on my woman, will you, Tom Tucker? Well, no one crosses Neil Goldman and gets away with it. <laughs> I added a little something to your coffee that I don't think you're gonna like. Here's your coffee, Mr. Tucker. What the hell is in this? Sweet and low. That's for trying to steal my woman. Go back and bring it to me with urine in it like I asked. Yeah. What I'm about to show you is a fight scene from Star Trek Season 1, Episode 18. And as a bonus, I'm going to identify when it's Shatner and when it's his stunt double, Fred Lubins. Let's watch. That's Shatner, of course. That's Lubins. That's Shatner. That's Lubins. That's Shatner. That's Lubins. Now that's Shatner. But when I freeze frame, you can clearly see Lubins' coffee cup sitting on that rock. He is the biggest dork on the planet. Oh, totally. And so, because of his rough and tumble style of command, Captain Kirk is clearly superior to Jean-Luc Picard. 
Any questions, man? No! Leave me alone! Thank you, Neil, for that incredibly irrelevant presentation. We all know Captain Picard is the superior officer. Hey, Chewbacca! Pass over, stupid, and I'm gonna prove it by breaking your nose! Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own religion who can fight for themselves? And you're not so tough! You frequently opt out of swim class because of your gross microcephalic penis! It's not gross! It's special! I can use it to reset my cable box! Ah. Hey, Chris! I noticed you were sitting alone. You mind if I join you? Sure, we both have hats. Makes sense. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, can you check my back for kick me signs? Oh yeah, you got a couple. <laughs> this one says you're a dirty kick. That doesn't say kick, but thanks. I'll keep that one for my lawsuit. Boys, I got a new home gym. Why are you telling us that? Just letting people know. Don't want anyone to get freaked out by the transformation. I gotta say, it feels kind of weird having someone join me for lunch. Well, it's only natural, Chris. You and I are social exiles. We're the Khaleesi and Jorah Mormont of this school. Sure, I'll agree to keep the conversation going. Well, time to break out my terrible Jewish bag lunch. Let's see. Smoked whitefish, herring and cream sauce, smoked sable, that's a different kind of whitefish, and for dessert, the only bad cookie in the world. Hey, what's it like buying food from school? It's good. I know everyone back there, so they let me drink the corn water. Boy, it's so great having someone I can talk to. I feel the same way, Chris. I think you and I could get along very nicely. Hi, Meg. You busy Saturday night? Neil, you ask me out like once a day, and I always give you the same answer. No! God, I don't think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Oh my God, we're gonna die. There's so much of life I haven't experienced. I never even got the chance to be some drunk college guy's last resort. My years of expensive orthodontic work will be a total waste. I never even had my first kiss. It's not too late, Meg. I'm here for you. I'm just saying. Find someone really smart to take the SAT for you in exchange for money. Did someone say Jewish? Oh, hey, Neil. Listen, is there any chance you'd be willing to take the SAT for me this weekend? Sorry, Meg, I'm swamped. I'm taking my body into the shop. I don't know what you've been doing to this thing, Neil. But you see this gunk? That ain't supposed to be there. Well, just do whatever you can. All right, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich with one hand and fill out the invoice with the other. Hello. Hi, name please. Neil Goldman. Goldman, Goldman. Sorry, no Neil Goldman. Oh, I beg your pardon. I meant to say Chris Griffin. Griffin, Griffin. Oh, here it is. Says you're supposed to be an usher. Well, you'll need this. Name please. Chris Griffin. Griffin, Griffin. Hmm. I'm sorry, sir. Chris Griffin has already checked in. Well, that's impossible! Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. We now go to junior anchor Neil Goldman with exclusive Channel 5 footage from today's exciting scene. Thank you, Diane. There may have been some sort of commotion on the rooftop, but the real story was inside the mouths of Meg Griffin and Neil Goldman, where a meeting of the tongues, a summit of saliva, established a new world order of love. I can't dissect this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew either. Okay. I'm glad Neil's over me anyway. I'm with Jake now. Right, Jake? Maybe someday we'll get married and you can go up on me. Neil, I want to be your girlfriend. What? I was wrong to drive you away. We belong together. Of course, I'm understandably skeptical of your newfound affection for me. You still got that contract our dads drew up? Give me that. You wanna hook up? Buy me something! Well, 
Wow, Chris, looks like another day of nobody joining us for lunch. Yeah, we never should have let that blind girl touch our faces. Hello, lover. Neil, what are you doing? I'm not your lover. I don't even like you. Meg, I strongly suggest you hold my hand, lest you look like a slut. Listen, you freak. Tell these people that there's nothing going on between us. Oh, don't be afraid of the fire, Meg. I won't let you burn. <laughs> Al, why haven't I leaped? Uh, Ziggy says you can't leap until she loves you back. Don't worry, I'll get her. Uh, before I touch anything, is this a nut-free counter? I don't know. My dad's might have been on there this morning. Oh, hey, Meg. I saw you stomp that pigeon today with your bare foot. Pretty powerful stuff. Thanks. I don't like losing any part of my lunch. Look, I'd love to stay and talk, Neil, but I have homework and there was no toilet paper in the girls' bathroom. Well, while you fresh it up, maybe I could help you get a head start on that homework. You do that? Wow, that'd be great. Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were going to go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. The best way to disarm a bully is to befriend him. Watch and learn. Hey, what's up, my main man? Listen, if you ever need the scoop on the local babe scene, just ask. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Awesome. Let's watch it one more time in super slow-mo. This is where we cease to be Meg and Neil and begin life anew as Meal. That sounds pretty good to me. Traffic on 146 is backed up all the way to Mineral Springs. What do you want, Neil? And why are you playing the news? Oh, it's an old boombox. I don't own any cassettes, so I just have to play whatever's on the radio. Shouldn't you be out with Meg? Look, Chris, I I'm sorry I lied to you, but I'd still like to be friends. And I hope... I'm sorry, I have to put the boombox down. The D batteries make it very heavy. Neil, there you are. What the hell is your problem? I finally give you a shot and you abandon me in a movie theater? I'm sorry, Meg, but my friendship with Chris is more important. You're a jerk, Neil. So what do you say, Chris? Can we hang out again? Yeah, I'd like that, Neil. Great. See you tomorrow. This is because I'm drunk. Move out, Irish trash. Great. Hey, Meg, what's got four arms, four legs, and one set of lips? You and me at the winter snowball. <laughs> Look, Neil, I don't... Oh, my God. Hey, Chris, guess who I just scored as my date to the homecoming dance? Vice Principal McGuire. Really? Yeah, her husband just died of ALS, so she is ready to get at it. Hey there, strong guy. Not now, Brenda. She says I have the body of a 50-year-old before it gets ALS. So who are you going to go with? I was thinking of asking Kara Morris. Why don't you ask her now? Her locker's right over there. Um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, hello there, Meg. Um, Neil, I really can't be seen talking to you anymore. I have friends now, and some of them very popular. I know. I heard Sarah is your lab partner. All those years of you rejecting me finally make sense. What do you mean? Oh my god! Wow, this is a lot more physical than I thought. My favorite part of a woman's body is haunches. And this is all haunch, baby. Hey, Goldman. Great job with sports today. Thanks, Chris. We're almost ready for the important sports game. Hey, guys. Hey, Ruth. Good gender fluid shower? Great gender fluid shower. Oh, I can't believe we're going out. This is so cool. 
Mm, Neil, Neil, n n not so fast. <laughs> uh, Meg, you need to fulfill your contractual obligations. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Meg. According to the contract, every night you have to put on my pajamas. My mom's record is 12 seconds. Neil, I think you're old enough to... Go! <laughs> Neil, would you stop kicking? It kicked! Hold still! Hold still! Hold still! Hold my, yeah, thumb. Hold oh, still. Oh, my quick neck! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you like to buy some candy to send Jewish kids to a Jewish place to do Jewish things? Will it get you out of my bar? It sure will. Look who's still standing, bitch. Go buy yourself something nice in hell. So, it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's Chinese! Tom, I'm standing here outside a Spooner Street home where a local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. Oh, it appears they've finally removed the roof. Nobody look! This is a private gross matter. Uh, Mr. Griffin, is this uh, performance art or uh, some sort of political statement? Well, I'm kind of ticked about condoms and porn, but this is unrelated. Tom, I'm standing in the bedroom of Judy and Glenn Isaacs, ten years married and still in love. What's their secret? Judy has an inoperable brain tumor the size of my fist, and that just happens to be Glenn's fetish. <laughs> Brian. Trisha. Thank you, Diane. So, Mrs. Griffin, what's it like being the woman behind the man? Well, you know, when Peter first said we were our own country, I was a bit skeptical. But then I thought, hey, I could be like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Only, you know, without the penis. Tell us a little bit about your country. Well, we're a clean, industrious people, mostly white. My son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. And little Stewie here is our president of Poopy. <laughs> so where is the president now? Oh, he's out on a goodwill mission to America. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's going to tell us all about the rain. Tom, residents all over Quahog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. For example, I'm here with Rides a 10 Speed Everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10 Speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10 Speed because it's fun, uh, it gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Sir, there's a reporter here to see you. Is it Kermit the Frog when he's wearing a trench coat? That tells you he's a reporter. Trisha? Diane, behind me are 1,000 beautiful doves. Gently tied to each of their delicate legs is a parade theme suggested by ordinary citizens of Quahog. And here to pick this year's winning theme is Ten Commandments star Charlton Heston. Let my pigeons go. He nailed one. We have oh. our theme. Tom, I'm standing here with Mayor Adam West with the latest information about the disappearance of young Scotty Jennings. What can you tell us, Mr. Mayor? Please, Mr. Mayor is my father. Call me John Mayor. 
Your body is a wonderland, by the way. What is the city doing to help rescue the missing boy? Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Diana, Quahog's fabled alabaster clam is about to descend and usher in a new millennium. This is Trisha Takanawa reporting live where police have discovered the whereabouts of Seabreeze, the heiress to the pewter Schmidt fortune. The dog napper has been traced to the sleazy motel. Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <coughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Z evil twin Todd Tucker out to destroy his brother's reputation. Ha ha ha! Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Now back to this breaking news. Well, Tom, the eggs being dropped behind me are not chicken eggs, but those of the endangered California condor. Welcome back, Fergus. I'm outside this maximum security facility where a ruthless thug has engineered a daring escape. Sir, do you have any plans now that you're out of jail? Yeah, I'm gonna go bang my girlfriend, and then I'm gonna kill Chris Griffin! Good Lord! Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! So... Peter, are you sure you heard Mr. Pewterschmidt correctly? He actually said he wanted cheap, toxic materials inserted into the brewery supply stream. Well, his eyes look different how he said it, but that was the gist. Also, some of the brewery workers say very hurtful things if a co-worker wears shorts. Follow the money. Mr. Griffin, it sounds like you've brought me an interesting story. What should I do with it, Ollie? Make it news! Hey, you got a standing desk, too? Sitting's bad! I know, they don't want to hear it, though. Thank you, Diane. Sex. Some people have it anonymously. What kind of person would do that, you might ask? Well, I'm about to find out. I just picked up a complete stranger in a hotel bar, and he's in the bathroom right now, possibly doing drugs. Watch as I have sex with this potentially dangerous man as we take you in-depth and undercover. I've never had a Spanish chick before. <laughs> Ole. Thanks, Tom. I'm here on Spooner Street where several Quahog families are holding a car wash to raise money for an organ transplant for young Paul Lewis. So what do you call this device, Paul? It's an iron lung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. You're a very thoughtful young man, Chris. C can I say hello to my mom? Sure. Hi, Mom! Hi, sweetheart. Joyce, I'm standing here on the streets of Quahog, where citizens are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I think we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's Pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, which goes great with ginger ale. Tom, I'm standing here with Stephen Hawking, the first white man I've ever met who knows math better than me. Mr. Hawking, what does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up! All right, see ya, bitch. Is Quahog in the grip of a serial arsonist? Police say no, but our producer says yes. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information regarding the suspect should contact Quahog police immediately. One thing is certain, the pain here is palpable. For many, this charred portrait of Elizabeth II gives poignant new meaning to the phrase, Hey, check out that flaming queen. Here with more details on the snowstorm is Asian correspondent Trisha Nakahoma. That's wrong. That's wrong. You're not doing good so far.
I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Yeah, this is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. Put that on the news, but you won't. <laughs> no! Feel too crinkly! Try again! Feel too crinkly! You tell a funny! This must be so difficult for you. It is. There's a lot of choices here. But I ain't talking to you. I thought you were supposed to be doing a news story on Carter, not shacking up with him. The truth is, all I ever wanted was to someday have a family of my own. And I realized Carter could give me all of that. A family all your own? Yes, a family just like this, in fact, with a fine son just like you, Peter. A son to whom I could one day give a piece of sour plum candy. <gasps> Thank you, Mama Trisha. But a lazy son who does not make me proud? Peter, that son deserves no candy. Uh, I swear, Mama Trisha, I'm going to make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Tom, I'm standing here outside of Quahog's new cat cafe. Local resident Brian Griffin has described the cafe as a threat to public health. That's right, Tricia, and since I'm on local TV, I'm going to talk a little too loud, and then occasionally I'm going to turn away from the microphone to point at things off camera, so my overall point is lost. Powerful claims. Thank you, Brian. I'm here with Peter Griffin, the man who claims he withstood a barrage of bullets and did not die. Peter, are you saying that if I shoot you in the head with this Channel 5 pistol, you'll be completely unharmed? Why don't you, uh, give it a shot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes. Ah! 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 What have I done? <laughs> oh, 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 you're awful. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Sir, for those viewers who aren't familiar with the tradition, can you tell us about the Renaissance Fair? Yea, but first, Bride of Genghis, thou must explainest to me thy very peculiar electronic wand. Ooh! Well, this stuff's already in her drink. No! Where'd you get these? Oh, I see the guy. You're a weird guy, Griffin. Eh, I don't know. Professional ninja Jerry Nelson, how did you find your silver scroll? Well, I was at home nursing this throwing star wound. My wife Janie gives me a beer and bam, there it was. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You know you can't sneak up on me like that. That's right, Tom. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Oh, that'd be just the thing to boost your confidence. Miss Takanawa! Miss Takanawa! Over here! Ah, oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> It looks like we've got a winner, Tom. So? The story on everyone's mind continues to be the absence of police officers in Quahog. Sir, as a citizen, how has this affected you? The police are gone? Oh my god, we're finally safe! <laughs> I'm standing outside the mayor's mansion, where, against the wishes of his attorneys, the mayor has agreed to an impromptu press conference. <laughs> mayor West! Mayor West! What do you know about the murder? Did you kill that man? Yes, I'll take a question from the reporter from the Quahog Elementary School Gazette. Timmy? Are you afraid of the dark? I thought we had an understanding that the dark was off limits. This press conference is over.
This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news, and now I will have my normal post-news review from my mom in her car. You're no good! You're no good on news! You're stiff like watching board! Joe London mother so happy! Trisha Takanawa mother so sad! Mm. So what do you think, Diane? Mm. Can I cook or what? I'm mm, delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa! That's crazy! They're just gonna be hungry again in an hour. Asian flu correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Trisha? Diane, I'm. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Trisha. This is Trisha Takanawa, here with school board president Peter Griffin. Mr. President, you've accomplished so much in just a few short weeks. Thanks, Connie. I'm very excited about our progress in revamping our schools. For starters, we're making sex education more fun. Vagina Junction, what's your function? Taking in sperm and spitting out babies. And our schools are the safest around thanks to the Hall Monitor XLK. Halt, present Hall Pass. Right here. Second request, present Hall Pass. Right, right here. Security bridge, security bridge. <laughs> I guess little Miss Free Spirit will think twice before roaming the halls. And I've restocked our school library with books of some of our greatest movies and TV shows. Because if we don't teach our kids to read, how will they ever know what's on? Mr. Griffin, this is impressive. I've never seen kids so enthusiastic about reading. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's what you voted for. Hey, son, show the folks at home what you got there. Good Lord, that's a dirty magazine. Yeah, that's mine. My shaft. There, there might be a mine shaft under this library. My God, all these kids are looking at pornography. What kind of pervert gave you kids this fill? Chris Griffin. He got it from his dad. Oh. Tom, I'm standing here at the Quahog Civic Center, awash in a pool of prepubescent sexual moisture. <laughs> Chris, I'm lying here, listening to you toss and turn, and wondering if there's something you'd like to discuss. I don't know. It's just, it's been so hard since Mom and Dad died, and Joe moved in with all his big band records. Joe! Chris, I'm lying here, asking you to kick Joe out of the house. What? He was my dad's best friend for 20 years. I can't do that. Chris, I offer you a choice. Luckily, I'm the town windower. For me, every day is a pain. <laughs> Can we please stop this? This is Trisha Takanawa. I am standing outside Quahog Hospital, where accused kidnappers Lois and Peter Griffin have just arrived. Also arriving is my overprotective boyfriend, who is suspicious whenever I am called into work at night, even though I've been a reporter for years, Tyrone. I thought I told you to mention my painting business. Diane, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. Fancy place. Boy, that'd make some second honeymoon, huh? The Park Barrington is already attracting some big names, such as Christianity enthusiast Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve. A room which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Fresh attack an hour. What are you doing here? Peter, I'm standing here on your front porch, hoping to kill that dolphin with this harpoon. Japan! They kill things that we like! So... Trisha Takanawa, 88! Peter, I'm standing here because I am the only Asian recurring character on the series.
Peter, you can tell I'm different because my weapon is different. Oh, well then maybe I won't be able to chop your head off. Oh, yep. I had a great day with the fat son. He started to respond positively to the caning of his buttocks and knuckles. Speaking of buttocks and knuckles, let's fool around. Mmm, sounds good. I wonder if I can tell you one of my deepest sexual fantasies. All right, let me just burp through my nose for a second. I've been drinking seltzer. <sighs> okay, what do you got? Well, you're going to think this is silly, but I love it when a man confesses to manufacturing improprieties. Oh, yeah? Well, then you're gonna love this. I ordered the brewery to start making beer cans out of toxic, unsafe metal just to save a few bucks. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Carter. And there you have it, Channel 5 News audience. This has been Trisha Takanawa with my undercover expose of Pawtucket Patriot Brewery. Up next is Papa John dyeing his eyebrows. I sleep with him to find out, though I'm fairly confident the answer is yes. With details, we now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. Oh, my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha. Now let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa so we can be shocked at how well her people age. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here with flawless skin next to the shedding, crumbling, dusty, ancient relics of white people my age. <laughs> Lois, fat ass! Family, I want you to meet Trisha Takanawa. Hello, everyone. So happy you came. Yep, food's on the table. And if anyone needs some dirty underpants, the vending machine's right over there. How nice. Right where my mother's china cabinet used to be. Tom, I'm standing here at Boston's Logan Airport, where some of the same security people who let the terrorists on the plane are still gainfully employed. With such low fares, even those who never fly are lining up to buy tickets. Early reports suggest that this could be the most profitable day for airlines in the last two decades. I'm Trisha Takanawa. Back to you, Tom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joe. Chris, Meg, we're going home. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Apparently we've lost Trisha. Tom, I'm standing here outside some public toilets where dads who are really hurting will be vomiting in front of their still-developing children. The parade is tomorrow, but already the giant balloons are being inflated, including two newcomers this year, Pepe the alt-right frog and Hops the dog, the beloved beer pitchman. Hello, Mother. I'm so happy you could be here tonight. What happy? You know what for Channel 10, just Channel 5, only half as good. Mother, please, I I'm being honored tonight. What honor? Connie Chung, Mary Mori Povich, for media super team. Where your Povich? You have no Povich. Oh, married life is pretty good. No, still no kids, but I've been practicing a lot by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating, yes. Between you and me, I think Trisha might be barren. <laughs> uh, Stewie, I'd better go. <laughs> Trisha's giving me that look. <laughs> okay, give my love to Brian and Meg, and hopefully we can come down there for the season finale. No? You're just not going to be a part of this at all? Okay, then. Bye, Stewie. Chris, I'm standing here in the living room because I need to talk to you about something very important. Look, we've been through this. It's my house, and I want to wear shoes in it. Chris, I offer you a choice. You can either continue wearing shoes in the house or continue having sex with this age-defying Eastern physique. <laughs> I'm standing here for some reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. Live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Tom, if it's fine, everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Diane, I'm hearing... Thank you, Trisha. Stay tuned for further... Ah! Drop it, creepo. Don't move, Catherine Deneuve. 
Freeze Reno, Paul Sorvino. Sometimes you chase helicopters. That's kind of lame. Yeah. Um. Besides, I do that to protect the house. Helicopters are going to hurt us, and I make them stay away. You know what? Didn't look at it that way. Thank you for protecting us. Oh my god, a baby! Are you okay? In my day, it was even worse. I got pegged by a new form of spitball. Oh, the Mr. Sulu show! Sulu, he's star of the show! All the guys just along for the ride! I told you, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you, mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Well, it was great seeing you, Glenn. Hey kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Oh uh, my. Ah. I don't want to go to the john. Hey, hey everyone. Oh, I'm sensing a lot of negativity here. What's going on? Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Hey, Peter. You know, Quagmire, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised you wanted me to come along. I thought you hated my guts. Oh, come on, Jeff. I don't hate your guts. Well, what the hell are we doing out here? I thought we were going to kill him. Oh, so, Jeff, do you like loud sentences? Gavin. That's a stupid name. And nobody likes you at school. You're going to be ugly when you grow up. And everything in your house is cheap. And it smells in here. Oh, hey, Brian. Bye. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, uh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. I think I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's time for you to leave. I can change. I can change. I'm sorry, Peter. We're done. We can never talk again. Here's a cell phone so we can always talk. No, I'm not. I'm not a nest. Okay, this is so messed up right now. <laughs> I did not want to have to do that. They were very nice to me up until then. I found it in the yard. A tennis ball. That's very impressive, Brian. Yeah, but don't tell the other dogs in the neighborhood. They'll be jealous. You son of a bitch. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! You guys did this! You guys did this! If anyone out there can get their hands on a clown suitcase, I'd very much like to see what's inside of there. I think we have the wrong clip. What? No? It, this, uh, okay, that was George W. Bush declaring civil war on the northern states. No, don't do it! No, 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 no,
Just go around it. He's not gonna hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need that Pyrex dish back. Okay. I'm gonna need it back now. Oh. Hey, who's gonna get the Thanksgiving dump trophy this year? You are! Dad's gonna get it! Who else? <laughs> <laughs> loving, loving family. This food is so good, Lois. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. I've seen worse. <laughs> A human centipede. How ghastly. Uh... Oh, let's see. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne. Uh, drives a Mercury Cougar with a crown on the dashboard. Uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks anyway. Hey, Reggie. Can we stop and get some food? Well, I guess it is close to dinner time. Chris, Joey, you hungry? <sighs> what are you looking at? You gonna propose? What? Yeah, exactly. What? Eyes front. What the hell is that? It's a jetpack. I'll come back for you guys, I promise. It's a sad, sad world. When a girl will break a boy just because she can. I'm broken. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not going to be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. I hear. Boy, these eggs are delicious. Good job, Lois. Good job, local hen. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys. I think I might know how to fix this. But first, look. I turned him into Groucho Marx. That's hilarious. The Mondo Twins. Purple Stuff. Tank Top Gay Face. Chad Zachary. Zach Chadwick. Chad Jensen. C. Zachary Chad. Feelings! Uh, feelings! Uh, feelings! Yeah, look at Quagmire hitting on that skank. You know he's gonna close the deal. Peter, that skank is your daughter. Oh my god, you're right! You know, Meg, I'd love to see you without your hat on. Okay. Oh, hey, Mr. G. How's it going? Quagmire, what are you doing here? Hi, Glenn. Bye, you guys. Me and Glenn are going out. What? Like hell you are! Don't worry, Dad. I'll take care of him. Stay away from my sis! I can pause it. I guess you could pause it. But you can't pause me! Ah, <laughs> oh, Glenn, forward, stop! Forward, oh, I forward. can't breathe! Uh, I can't stop breathe it. either! Oh, this is torture no, no, for me, too! Stop! You're ah, so goofy! Please stop! Oh, I'm going <laughs> Sorry. This is a big game Meg is playing, and the only way to win is not to play it. Is that a War Games reference? Might be. You know War Games? Yeah. Still finding out new stuff about you. That's the adventure. There's a nerd in there. Maybe there is. I might bang her later. How about a nice game of chess? I prefer banging. Good evening, I'm Michael Myers. I have enormous psychological problems, and I'm going to take them out on you. Slow motion diving at you. Hey. Thanks for saving my life. Uh, it was the least I could do. Obviously, it turns out you were right about Penelope. You okay? I will be. I will be, babe. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on Eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. May I speak to the man of the house? This is the woman of the house, and there is no man living here. No? W wait, what is... I, I, how are you paying for this phone? I'm a lawyer. Oh, I see. And are you in your little courthouse right now, representing Barbie? Tom, I don't think the government was requiring you to wear a suit. Well, they were stopping me from punching you in the face. Is that what you want? No, you know what? You know what? Give me your wallet. What? You heard me. I said, give me your wallet. This is a crappy wallet. You're bad stuff. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets, and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Ye yay! Boom! Boom! Yo, 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 Peter G, what's happening, dog? Huh. Sideways hat, Robin. Dear God, no! <laughs> Gonna have some hot tea, baby, this morning. Ah! 
Run, Forrest, run! run! Ho, ho, eggs. Who came first, the chicken or the porn star? Ho, ho, the porn identity. Who am I? Oh, yeah, the pizza man. Bucka chicka bow wow. Ho, ho, ho. No. 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 I think it's in March. <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud. The guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's gonna happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Nice work, rookie. You're a credit to the force. Additional generic cop compliment, Brian. Ha, huh, thanks. But the real hero here is God for blessing me with this nose. And a few other equally amazing appendages. <laughs> Peter's tie, Peter's tie, that's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's it, no time either. <laughs> yeah. I've been observing your behavior, and I don't think you're an addict. I think you're an idiot. Well, I don't pay you to think, hot lips. In fact, I don't pay you at all. Count it. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh. Well, then, then, then what about that post-it? It says the graph was not made in art class. We really do want kids to start smoking. But, Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all 50 states in a quarter of a second. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bells off, of course. Anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information regarding the suspect should contact Quahog police immediately. And I'm gonna be... high. As a kite by then. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. Cleveland! I mean, cheese its Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you gonna act? Jeez. Bringing that trash in here? This is my house. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? Uh, how, you wanna dance? <laughs> Jet suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <coughs> Butterfingers. Mr. Tucker? I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? Did you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. He's in a coma. Oh man, I want to party with him. You man. know it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? 
stop! I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh. Boom Boom, did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you. Yipe! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois, you can't spell love without L-O. You can't spell is without I-S. You can't spell silo without Lois. <laughs> Last week's spelling tests, and it looks like Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang, that is some smart pig. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old. <laughs> Warm I'm out today. Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating Seabreeze. Oh no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating Seabreeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. But watch out, we got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I know cut you up so bad. Peter! Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That that was, um, me farting. Damn, this itches. I wonder who gave it to me. Probably that skank who needed a ride to the gas station. Last time I'd do somebody a favor. Oh, God, they must have heard me. Oh, God, I can hear me. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner fudge is made. <laughs> Where's your father and Chris? It's not like them to be late for lunch. Mm, I think they left a note. Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Ah! Oh, you're awake. Hey, uh, can you hear me the pretzels? Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Do I hear 135, 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip. <laughs> I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. For whistling at a white woman, go directly to jail. Ah, oh, man, does anyone ever win at this game? You don't win. You just do a little better each time. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. 
I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Congratulations! Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. Make those second hundred pages really keep the reader guessing what's going to happen? Some twists and turns? Little epilogue? Everybody learns the hero's journey isn't always a happy one? Yeah, I look forward to reading it. A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um... No Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well this here? Yeah? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. Oh, no, Rupert. We're out of gas. We better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah! A ghost! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time, we got away just in time. Look out behind you, lady, it's the blob! I'll save you! Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids! You shall! Oh, no. Now return to. What? Are you firing me? And don't think about coming back and shooting up the place because security has your picture. Yeah, what's that? What's that? Who's that? Oh, what's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? 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 I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! There it is, boys, the fountain of youth, just like I told you. Yeah, baby! I want a piece of that! You suck! Hello, MTV. Um, I think I would be perfect for the real world, uh, because I speak my mind, and, uh, not everyone likes that. Uh, but I'm not afraid to go there. And, uh, I can be sexy. <laughs> look here. Turn around, look at my fanny, look at my fanny, look at my fanny. Hey, I'm gonna jump all those trash cans! Uh-huh. <laughs> I just heard the dog got fired. Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog, cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. Hi, Dad. Go to your room. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back and take a bath. Yeah, how about you go back and take a bath? Would you like a carrot? Good girl. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it, Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Way yet, way yet, way yet, way yet. Now there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. He went into James Woods. Let's spread out and find him. We'll head him off at the... <laughs> Todd, man, you gotta chew your food. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dana, Dana, Dana. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Okay, okay, ready? Here goes. I'm a female. I have a high voice. I have reproductive organs inside of me, and I buy groceries. I don't know, man. We didn't get the shots we need. Man, what do you think, Mike? I mean, if you saw action going on in front of you, would you know instinctively to center it in front of you? I don't know. Could someone take my soda out of the icebox, please, so it doesn't freeze? I want my money, man! Stewie, listen, this is crazy. You got- OH MY GOD! <laughs> Alright, let's go to the bank. At Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, we have Hyundais and Subarus. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It, too, is called condensation. con den uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Wait! We might still be able to save it. Oh no! Dun 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 Hey! Hello? Hey, Lois, what's up? Milk? Yeah, I'll pick some up at the end of my shift. Oh, gotta go. First fare of the night. I should really pick up that milk now before I forget. You son of a bitch! Oh my god, speed up, speed up, speed up! Oh, there you are, you honky son bitch! Come back here! <laughs> hey, Lois, look how short Stewie is. Uh, he's so short. <laughs> oh my god, he is short. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! Shh. He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath as Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. And as we watch Griffin doing this, I want to remind everyone that this is absolutely not gay. I think I'm okay. Ah! This is gonna be awesome! You said it! Am I, you guys feel anything yet? I feel kind of funny. I got a bellyache. We shouldn't have did this, man. Uh, what's next? A workout followed by a romp around a crowded room while the music goes... Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. <laughs> Oxygen on Mars. Yeah, that means there's no oxygen for him either. That Martian wants a fight, he'll get a fight. You can't win, Rock! You're 60 years old! Hey, look what Rocky bought me with his money! I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what- Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. 
from dog injuries. Well, isn't this a fine song and dance? What are you getting so hot about? Keep your shirt on. Where do you get off making remarks like that? Supposing I say you're a lunkhead. Well, I ain't much for supposing. Well, supposing you were. Well, maybe I'm through supposing and I'm fixed to start figuring. Ah, uh, horseradish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say plenty. Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm going to be kicking my dad's ass all day today. What the hell? Do it! Guy, no, no, stop! Ah! Ah! Now get up! Now get up! Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on, Stewie! You're acting crazy out there, man! <laughs> uh, look at us staring. What are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here, with these, man. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? What's the Ma! Mum! 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 Mummy! Mummy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> are you flexing? What? Me? No. no. What? Why, why would I be flexing? <laughs> I mean, I have uh, sort of been hitting the gym, so uh, if, if you wanted to see how it's going... It... Good news! WQHG 97.1! 97.1! 97.1! We have a butt! In the morning, who weekends? FM! Weenie! 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 And the butt! Okay, we have Rose from Cranston on the phone. Welcome, Rose. Can I take your order? Um, yes, that turkey, that, that raw turkey that you ate off the counter last week that got Lois mad, when you poop that out, was the timer still in there? D-I-N-G-O Dingo! Dingo! Oh, sexy girlfriend! I like to yell at mice with my shirt off. Maybe if she spent some time on the treadmill, and I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. Your leg is rubbing up against mine. Hey, quiet down or I'm pulling over. Stop breathing on the window. You idiot, that's condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. Let's go out dancing. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, <gasps> there it is again. What is that? E easy on those trans fats. N not everything needs gravy. You know, there's some carrots down at the other end. That, that cheesecake was for everyone. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else! <laughs> You ever just let your balls hang out, be right? You ever do that, be rony? Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. Oh, look at this guy. Now there's someone who cuts his own hair. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, 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 check out this uptight Asian guy. Look at that. I work really hard because I'm no fun. Bwong. <laughs> <laughs> help, help. I'm drowning. We gotta get this woman to surgery time! Right stat now! Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. <laughs> You're acting like a psycho bitch. You're acting like a psycho bitch! God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> Ow! Rose, will you stop it? Stop it! Hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. Oh, Crone! What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old-timey... Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah. All right, this is gonna blow you guys away! Ah. Ah. Dare card, have her do a striptease and see how long it takes you to get a boner. What's a boner? What you gotta say over there? Hey, look, it's President Nixon! 
No, wait, it's a black guy. No, it's Nixon. We now return to cutting in line in front of Italians. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey oh, whoa! Hey, Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? Yeah, legs probably spread a little wider than they ought to be, but who gives a damn? This is just Tan Stewie being Tan Stewie. Check me out, Brian. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's a warm family moment. I agree. We can all learn something from that. Waka waka. Who wants to hear a funny ass joke? Three weeks later. Ah! Mom! Dad, there's somebody in my treehouse! Yeah, and there's an annoying little homo screaming in my kitchen. Which one do you think I'm more pissed about? I'll remind you that I was invited here. You make your doo doos, Joe? Shut up. You make your doo-doos? I said shut up! There's no doo-doos today! Dude, you gotta introduce me to that black chick. He's Quagmire! Quagmire! Giggity-giggity-goo! I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world Wrapped in plastic, it's fantastic Come on, Barbie, let's go party! Ah, 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 yeah! Oh, oh, Lois, oh, uh, oh, let me make you some coffee. Hey, Lois, sorry about the mess in the upstairs bathroom this morning. My post-sex peace stream forked in half last night and got everywhere. All the movers and shakers and bigwigs are gonna eat here, but not the small wigs. Hey, I'm hungry. I got a credit card. The guy at table seven complained there's not enough juice on his prime rib. Oh, did he now? Oh, let me take care of that for him. <laughs> Tell him bon appetit, douchebag. <laughs> going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the sideways stairs. She can't answer you. She can't even talk. Ever since she started smoking pot, she just kind of lays there. It's really sad. And a tiny bit funny. Oh my god, I think I'm getting a contact high. <sniffs> oh, no, I messed up too. Hey, take those sneakers off. No. Take them off, I said. No. Ah, let him go. We'll never catch him. Not in these shoes. I didn't take my sneakers off. I'm still Sneakers O'Toole. I was about to bone my girlfriend out at the lake. But suddenly she yelled, so I looked up and it was Bigfoot. So what happened next? Then I went back to bone her, but the mosquitoes were going crazy and she said there was no way. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the fan to decide. Yay! Well, that's enough fun for one day. I'm sweating more than a non-legacy applying to Yale. <laughs> <laughs> My tiny purse! <laughs> tiny phone! <laughs> tiny everything! <laughs> Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! <laughs> oh. And when he woke up in the morning, she was still in his bed! Ah! Hey, Lois, take a look. I just made 500 t-shirts that say, Vote for Lois unless you're queer. No, wait, even if you're queer. No Jews, though. Okay, Jews. You to cow! No, you to cow! Wow, Disney gets us! I thought you said we was going to see Hairspray! Bitch, I thought I said just shut up and be looking fine. I know where we are. The park is near here. We're near the park, Lois. Oh, that's the tree. I peed on that. Hey, hey, Lois. Lois, there's another dog in that car. Hey, 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 hey! There's another dog in that car! Hey, are you seeing that? Hey, hey, hey! Other dog! Fuck you! Round the side. And back again. Up high. 
Down low. Now over by the diving board. Now on the other side of the pool. Do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my ass? Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> 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 I ain't done nothing to antagonize nobody. What a droid can't walk down the desert no more. I got rights to who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, we're the Cantina Band. If you have any requests, shout them out. Play that same song. All right, same song. Here we go. Did you hear something? Probably just another drill. You know that last drill we had? I was about to finally bone my girlfriend, and then we heard that there was this drill, and she told me there was no way. Oh, Vince Vaughn's on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Here's my summary of every Vince Vaughn movie. Oh, I'm incapable of loving another person. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. The end. I don't even want to look at his face. Which calls to mind the question once again, why, with all the two armed youngsters waiting in the minor leagues, does this team stick with an armless second baseman? And he hasn't had a hit in ever. In ever, Jerry. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear in your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? Look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary? <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with... A hammock of cake. Don't worry, I'm not taking you pansies. I'm taking my new friends. Now, this is Parker, Quentin, and Portland. Is Portland the black one? Portland is the black one. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. There's a song I wrote last summer. It's called Water. My hair is growing, growing all the time. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks! Um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um... Hooray. Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding, you suck. No, just kidding, you suck. Queer. Queer? <laughs> When I'm lost in your eyes. I don't even care. They don't know what they is talking about. Next time they hear about me, they, they, they's gonna be like, we was wrong about Stewie. Cause, cause that's gonna be huge. I, that's gonna be bigger than every one of all y'alls. I got you now, mouth! Yeah? Well, up your ass, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Run fast, run fast, quickly! I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. 
I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're oh my awesome. God, you're, you're so, so cool. cool. Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey guys, let's go swim in the old quarry. Yeah! Wait a minute, kids. Don't go swimming in that quarry. It's dangerous. Wow! Thanks, GI Jose. You know, you're not supposed to be in the house, Brian. You're more of an outdoor dog. What the hell does that mean? This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of... Ow! Hey, Ow! Everybody! Everybody! Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure. You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you wanna get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Kikrigi! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. Oh, boy. Ah, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Hey, you guys, Lois says it's time for dinner. So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember your face! A lot of people say that Stacy's no good and that she slept with this guy and done that guy and even did some handwork on this guy. But I'll tell you something, that experience is gonna work in her favor late in the game. You know what a heck of a wedding? Brett Favre. And then we go to an A minor Getting a little cloudy out here Looking like we might have some weather Then we go to E minor Oh, definitely got some weather Things are a little more complicated than they seemed at first And then we go back to my house Hey, hey, that's the guy That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... Balls. <laughs> <laughs> we can go where we want to. Place where they will never find. And we can act like we come from a. No, 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 no! Oh, that's got all my stink of the day in it. That's nasty. So how'd the medical experiments go? So good, Lois, so good. I'm gonna squeeze right in here if my thighs will let me. Ha ha ha! Oh, Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Oh, 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 they spotted me. Okay, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'll be Charlie, and you can all be my angels. 
Except you. You'll be Bosley. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. You are ruining our society, and you should be ashamed. Ten banana cream pies. Chris, everything I say is a lie. Except that. And 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 that. Careful, Joe. Get the ten gauge. Man, I've never handled one of these before. Look at this, Lois. See right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. Hey, Lois, give me a penny. You're not gonna throw it over the edge, are you? No. Yes. <laughs> Work of art? Or container of crazy purple knockout gas. I'm not really a woman. I'm a horse. Oh my god, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. Lois, Lois, women 25 to 49, they see you as a role model. Really? Absolutely. What about me? Oh, <laughs> you. Well, yeah, Sir Loss, right? Yeah, I turned out great. Huh? Am I right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm right. Y you want arm wrestle? Come on, right now. We'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> I think you've had about enough. Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm I'm serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. Flight 85 to Providence is now departing. That's not going to stop me. Hey! Okay. Hey, Frenchie, is my fort ready? Yes, Mr. Griffin, even though no one else has any pillows now. All right! Hi! Cookie? No, no, actually it's Stewie, but, well, you, you can call me Cookie if you like. <laughs> yes, I, yes, yes, I've also been known to answer to Artemis, Agent Buckwald, and Snake. Yes, yes, I, I rather like Snake. Snake Griffin. Mumkin Tukuni Mirati? Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane is safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Jackie Chan, Cab 302. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. 
I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> Hello. What are you looking at, you, you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... You bet it her. You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, loot our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. <laughs> Of not being able to find clothes that fit. I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Pig and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Peter, how the hell is he gonna recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, jeez, did I just hit that ostrich? No. Are you sure? Yeah, he's fine. Keep going. Come on, guys, wait up! Oh, dang, I got honey all over my legs. It's a girl. Can, can you can you check again? Hi, I'm William Shatner. My car broke down while I was on my way to give a speech about how TV keeps families together. Say, would you like to hear it? Ah, uh, it was you. Rafty swine. UPS! <laughs> Little bastards ain't as smart as... Ah! Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh. And her hooters ain't bad either. Now hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> All right. What you, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. Speed, I do not think you should be in this race. Ha ha, the Mach 5 is not ready. Ha ha. But Pops, I must be in this race. Ha ha. Very well. Uh, uh but you know I am not really your father. Ha ha. Oh. Damn it, Julie. I am not shacking up with my boyfriend. I am just going away for the weekend. Yeah. All the away. <laughs> Woo. Oh, damn, Schneider. What won't you say? And the cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon. Little, Little boy, boy blue, blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, son. You no. know. Ah, ah, oh my God! Ah, 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 ah. We were sailing along on Moonlight Bay. We could hear the voices singing. They seem to say the vessel goes to one hundred million dollars. <laughs> Mr. Peter Griffin for an astonishing one hundred million dollars! Money, money! Money! Hey, shut up! No, you shut up! No, you shut up! You shut up! You're the one talking! Well, there's no one else here! Look, everybody, just shut up! <gasps> What's that? The wind! The Pacific Rim economy is still a tad shaky for my taste. No, oh, oh, stop it, stop it! Now, look here, you can't become a bloody fiscal hermit crab every time the Nikkei undergoes a self-correction. Asia's market has nowhere to go but up. Interesting. Indeed. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. It, yeah? Damn, it's not here. Eh, not here either.
quagmire. Dee Dee. Cleveland. Joe. Bonnie. Lois. Cleveland. Lois. Bonnie. Quagmire. Peter. <clears throat> Loretta. And uh, let's see, Stanley Starkweather Stevens. Mm, Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? <laughs> a 20-minute call to Larchmont? What do we know in Larchmont? My sister-in-law. Oh, yes, right, right, Carol. Yes, that's right. How is Carol? Yeah, that felt good, driving me hard in the couch like that. It was a moving scene today at Hatch Pond, as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately, it died shortly after. I'm the king of the water! Ah, 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 ah. Damn it! ¿Quién es esto? Él es la respuesta de mis oraciones. Por qué? Ah. Okay, 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 wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good one. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm, open palm slap on the behind. You haven't heard a word I've said. Now, that's not fair. I've heard everything you've said. It's just, you know, there's some subtleties to the rules that aren't so easy to understand. Hark, hark. Okay, that's it! Huh. I wonder what Scooby and the gang are up to right now. We now return to the Scooby-Doo murder files. Gee whiz, gang. Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies, what a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. Oh, that's funny. That's even more humorous than that joke you told us last night. Okay, so a Jewish guy and a Chinese guy walk into a bar, right? It oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, Jewish guy and a Chinese guy walk into a bar, and there's this naked priest sitting there, and he... Oh, sorry, Father. No, I've heard them all. Hey, how's your job search going? Oh, it sucks, Brian. I've already been through two jobs this week. I got fired off of that commercial. Try it again. I'm caca for Cuckoo Puffs. No, oh, damn it, take 26. And then I had that job as the sneeze guard for the salad bar at that restaurant. Uh, 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 take it outside, lady. And then I thought I could win some money in that talent show. And the grand prize goes to the Von Trapp Family Singers. Oh, that is bull... Meg, you don't need to change the way you look. You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Lois. He's just curious about the chair. About 10 years ago, I was investigating a robbery at an orphanage. It was Christmas Eve, and some presents had been stolen. Reach for the sky, dirtbag! All right, pal, you've stolen your last Christmas. <laughs> You have won. You think all is well. But kiss my green hats. I shall see you in hell. Are you Timmy? Merry Christmas, Timmy.
Okay, do you have any disabilities, past injuries, physical anomalies? Uh, yeah, oh, oh, I didn't have gas for the first time until I was 30. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, I know just how you feel, Pumpkin. I've had my share of disappointments, too. It's a girl. Can, can you can you check again? Uh, Meg, honey, I know what I did was wrong, and I know this isn't the first time I've embarrassed you. And if you add the measure of the angles of a right triangle, the sound... Hey, Meg, do you mind cleaning out the shower next time you shave your legs? It's like a carpet in there. Wow, I haven't seen Meg this happy since that bus broke down in front of our house. <gasps> Hi, can we use your phone? Holy crap, it's the children of the corn! <gasps> you swore you would never speak of that. Uh, uh, no, thank you. I, I just had it clean. No, uh, ah, uh, jeez. Oh, All set, sir. Uh, I, I don't have any change. Sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. No charge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, you, you hungry? Because, uh, you know, my, my, my wife makes us beefaroni casserole out of this world. Well, uh, I, I was gonna call him, but uh, my, my favorite episode of Different Strokes was on. You know the one where Arnold and Dudley get sexually molested by the guy who owns the bike shop? All right, now I want you boys to scream real loud at my ass. Bohog can be pretty exciting, too. Last week, someone lost an eye at bingo. I-17. Oh, darn it. Ah! Hey, 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 I've done lots of things to help people. Remember that time I sang to the kids down at the Sunday school? Yes, and you forgot the words. Jesus loves me, he loves me a bunch, cause he always puts Skippy in my lunch. Well, we almost got that one for insect study. Look, Chris, it's a whole family of wasps. My, Margaret, what a subpar ham. Perhaps I can't bake a ham, but what I can cook up is a little grace and civility at the table. Patty, did you know that your mother is a whore? Oh, believe me, I've been trying. That's, that's why I went on that game show. For $800, this chemical dye is found in over 95% of all cosmetic products. Diarrhea. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. What is diarrhea? Look, we got animals, we got clowns. I, I mean, a party couldn't be any better if Jesus himself showed up. Okay, everybody, for my next miracle, I'm gonna turn water into funk. <laughs> Oh, she's always trying to make me be social. Cocktail parties, school functions, that time we planted trees in Jerusalem. What? Look, all I'm saying is put an Israeli guy next to an Arab guy, and I can't tell a difference. Ah, oh, come on. Rules were made to be broken. Ah! Uh. I mean, Chief Grand Cherokee. He was a rainmaker. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, I'm so happy doing the neutron dance. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm just burning doing the neutron dance. Peter, face it, you're a terrible liar. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was you. You remember what happened when he tried to sneak me into the county fair? Ah, uh, one, please. <laughs> Wait a second, your ass just sneezed. And horses can't talk. No, 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 nothing about this adds up at all. Uh, you, you remember that time I pretended to be gay? Dear MacGyver, enclosed is a rubber band, a paper clip, and a drinking straw. Please save my dog. Why don't you come with us? Oh, I can't leave the premises. They're monitoring my every move. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. So, Peter, have you found a replacement for your team? No, and believe me, I've been looking. Hideo-san would be honored to play for your team, but he wishes to know what compensation you offer. Uh, me, me love you long time? wonder what the guys are up to. Oh, that's nasty. Griffin never knows when to stop. Clear. Clear. <clears throat> oh, you, you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. Uh, Brian's tennis ball. 
Man, he loved to play with his thing. <clears throat> Double fault! Oh, come on, Brian. There you go. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts! <laughs> yeah, it'll be like taking candy from a baby. Who are you? I'm Callista Flockhart. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm deaf. Which one of you is Peter Griffin? Uh, he is. I like animals. Uh-huh. Because they're like people, just little furry people. Yeah. Um, hey, you ever go on the internet? They got some cool stuff there on that internet. Oh, yeah, I bought these shoes from a company on the internet because they don't test on animals. Wow. You know, animals never have war. War is an invention of mankind. What the hell are you talking about? Animals fight all the time. Not with nuclear arms. You can't hug your children with nuclear arms. Check, please. See, this is why I hate clothes shopping. I have no ass. I'm minus an ass. All right, all right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search. Oh, my God, Lois, stall him! Peter, what are you doing? Just, just stall him, Lois! Ha, <laughs> ha, gotcha! It's just me, Death. I'm here for the body. Ah, oh, Peter, it's okay. It's just Death. Oh, thank God. Uh, hey, did someone choke on a roll in here? Oh, no, 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 I, I, I spit it up. Oh. You got any SPF 50? I bleach like a gym sock. Look, Death, will you relax? I, I told you, the beach is a perfect place to pick up chicks. Now, I want you to go over there and ask those girls if you can play. Uh, hey, can I join you? I guess. What's your name? Josh? Do you, like, live around here? No, I, uh, I live with my mom. Let's get out of here. See you, Josh. Tell your mom we said hi. <laughs> Heads up! Oh, well, uh, let's just say when I was younger, I uh, did some films I'm not particularly proud of. Well, that does it for me. Let's go, Peter. Wait! So you went through all this trouble just to see your girl? I sure did, and I'm just a fat idiot. What's your excuse, you big chicken? Chicken? You take that back. And make me. I don't make monkeys. I train them. Uh, 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 oh! Holy crap, I'm sorry, did that hurt? No. But this will. Ah! Oh, you bastard! Uh, 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 Glenn! I thought I'd lost you! Sorry, Mr. Quagmire, but I still need a body to take back with me. So. No! You can't take him! Uh, you know, um, this is probably not cool. Just throwing it out there. Um, she was suicidal. She was? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I had heard that too. And her last name was Quagmire. Well, good enough for me. I gotta go. I got tickets to Celine Dion. I'm not gonna kill her. I'm just gonna watch her die on her own. Anyone? Anyone? Hey, uh, Death, you, you got a file on me? Yeah, somewhere. It's in the car, I think. Is it mentioned that I ran two weeks of Junior Varsity Trek? Uh, let's not do this. Hey, look, I caught flow, Joe. You don't think I can catch you? Ah! Ah! My ankle! Ah! Yeah, listen, don't help or anything. I'm totally fine. Damn Irish. Hey, guys. Hey, Death. What are you doing here? Actually, I'm here for your show. Oh, come on, man. I'm on vacation. Wait a minute. Death, you work with God. Will you take us to him? Sure, I guess I could. But don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. You know, uh, I'm a brave guy, Lois. Oh, yeah? I bet you're not brave enough to laugh at Death. Watch me. <laughs> oh. 
Thanks. Like I don't have enough trouble fitting in. Oh, that's good. I got a B-plus in health. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, why don't you boil some water and rip up some sheets there, Einstein? It's a sprained ankle. I just have to stay off it for a few days. Wait, wait, wait. You, you can't stay here. Why not? How romantic. Why can't you find a nice girl? Ma, she's gonna dump him. Well, at least he got that far. You know who he took to the prom? His cousin. That's weak. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it. I'm sick of both of you. Come on, Peter. Death, put your jacket on or you'll get frostbite. I don't have skin. That's because you didn't eat your beans. Look, Death, you made a mistake. I'm not really supposed to be dead. Oh, I made a mistake, huh? Then what do you call this? Peter, is that your handwriting? <laughs> how, how, uh, how'd, how'd you get that? It was emailed to me by your HMO. Oh, look, I know my doctor was hitting on me, but you don't have to call him names. Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. You're thinking. I like that. You could kill all the girls who are prettier than me. Well, that would just leave England. Wait. Wait, I have it. Oh, Death, we really appreciate you taking us to see God. No problem. I was supposed to kill Russell Brand, but I'll just do this instead. Oh, wait, well, well, wait, wait now. I mean, you could just pick us up after. and that would... Hey, don't worry. I'll be back. Really, really soon. <laughs> Is he joking? <laughs> okay, see you later. Could you please find it in your heart to spare him? After all, it isn't really his time. What do you make this cocoa out of, crap? If you want me to make it again, Sorry, I... Lois, it's my fault. I just assumed you were going to make it with milk, not crap. I'll be right back. Sorry I'm late. I had a meeting over at NBC about Joey. Death? What are you doing here? Nobody's dying today. Not according to my paperwork. It says here your buddy Quagmire died of a heart attack. I gotta tell you, I always thought it'd be rectal trauma. Could you tell me when you're leaving to go back in time? I was talking to a robe on the coat rack for 20 minutes before I realized you weren't in it. Ah, uh, for God's sake, leave me alone. I'm working. Don't yell at your mother. If you yell at your mother, a hen will lay eggs in your tummy. Oh, come on! Oh. Hang on, I'll fix it. Oh my god, is he dead? I, I think he might be dead. Oh, did you hear that? Noah Wiley here thinks he might be dead. Step aside, Junior. Nah, he's just knocked out. Damn, I drove all the way out here. I had to cancel another appointment. I never like to be too far away from Mike Wallace. I gotta take a leak. Well, don't forget to zip up your fly. If you don't zip up your fly, a seagull will get you. God, jeez. I don't care. We gotta find a way to summon death and quick. Well, that might do it. Death! Ah, oh, thank God you're here. Listen, you gotta send me back in time again so I can marry Lois. Man, it's been a busy day. Dick Cheney, the chairman of Halliburton, shot Supreme Court Justice Scalia in a hunting accident, and the bullet went right through him and killed Karl Rove and Tucker Carlson. Oh my God, Peter, you can't marry Lois. I don't know who any of those people are. Oh, oh man, she was beautiful. You know, this looks awfully familiar. Wait a second. I remember this. That's me. Look at all that hair. Oh, can't believe I thought that looked good. I must have been high. Oh, Please be Rosie O'Donnell. Please be Rosie O'Donnell. Please be Rosie O'Donnell. <sighs> Wait, is it? Hey, uh, Death, can you leave that body here for another five minutes? <laughs> That's Quagmire. Still, we leave Death alone. He's okay. You know, he reminds me a lot of me at that age. I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, baby. Oh, oh Sandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sandy. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm going to be a virgin forever. Or am I? 
Come on, man. Which one is Peter Griffin? Uh, this is Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Why are you... No, wait. I'm not finished holding my sides. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> Here's to fish. Uh, hey, could I have one of those? Hey, Death, what are you doing here? Me? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm here because of that. Two more dead from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Looking for that scroll, huh? Wouldn't mind finding that thing myself. Oh. Ah, jeez. Oh. oh, man. I hope I don't get pulled over. Okay, be cool. Maintain. Come on, Death. You can do this. Hey, Death. I, I got a favor to ask you. Could you let me go back in time and be 18 again? What are you, high? No. Coming up next on ESPN, women's professional... All right, you win. Let's go. But just for one night. Week ...and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm gonna dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Today's feature presentation of Glory will not be seen. What? Ah, oh, I love that movie. Oh, man, that's gonna leave a big hole in their lineup. What's gonna fill the glory hole? In place of glory, we will be showing Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. What? You can't just shove Shaft in the glory hole. Yeah, I know. It'd be better to put in that movie about the two girls who meet Nixon. What's that movie called? Dick? Dick would slide right into that glory hole. No, no, Dick's too short for that glory hole. But if you also put in Edward Furlong's movie, Pekka, you got Pekka and Dick in the glory hole, and you got a tight squeeze, but it, it ought to fit. And this one? Oh, Mozart, the boy genius, the best. Okay, how about this? Oh, the bussy. I love the bussy. Sometimes all I can think about is the bussy. Oh, look at the penis. The penis is so good with the bussy. So you like his early work? Oh, yes, when the bussy was young. That's when you want the bussy. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the back. Never finish on the bussy. <laughs> All right, Tom, this is totally gonna work. All the biggest Hollywood players eat here, and we just gotta make them think we're one of them. That's why I got these old Hollywood Jew glasses. Waiter! Oh, waiter! Yes, sir. Are you gentlemen ready to order? Yes, I will have the big and fancy, and my client here will have a bottle of your best steak. Right away, sir. Peter, I'm not sure what any of this has to do with getting me acting jobs. Tom, who's the agent here? You are. And who's the actor? Well, I am. Wait, which one am I again? The agent. And who's paying for dinner? I assumed you were. Ah, then we best load our pockets with bread and get the hell out of here. We have to go. Not expensive enough. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your glasses, your poor table manners, and your huge sense of entitlement. Are you an agent? I am. You've got ten seconds to dazzle me. Go! Well, I'm the casting director for NCIS, and we need an actor for a small role that shoots tomorrow. This is your man. That's great! He's got just the look we're after. Show up here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. How about that, huh, Tom? You're back in the business. Wow, Peter, I can't believe it. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. I even gave out all my business cards. Call me! 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 Ah, show business. I used to be a lion tamer. Chapstick! With smooth lips, I will finally be able to be a mayor who kisses babies with confidence. Hey, cracked lips! You'll see! You'll all see! Hey, everybody get on the ground! If this bitch moves, shoot him in the eye! Dad, I don't want to do this! You have to! Next week, we're buying a zebra! Dad! 
There's no time to argue. We got 150 seconds before the police respond to the silent alarm. Now check those bags for dye packs. <laughs> Who's the manager here? I, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? You said if he moves, shoot him! He's the only one with a combination that is safe! It's blown! It's blown! This whole operation is blown! I'll get the car. Kill everyone else. Brian, look. An eight-foot basket. Let me just dunk the turkey once. I know I can jam it. That's not a regulation rim. Okay, you know what? I'm in charge of the turkey. You're driving. Is this thing on? Yes. It's not making any noise. It's a hybrid. Trust me, it's on. No, it's not. See? <laughs> My God! <laughs> Not now! Not like this! <laughs> I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Sawyer? I'm Zach Sawyer. Say when. Acting. Singing. Pop. Classical. Light opera. Italian. Dancing. Classical. Tap. Jazz. Horse riding. Can I? Yes. Accents. 13. South American. South African. British upper class. British Cockney. What, governor? Somebody gonna stop me? Fencing. Nunchucks. Driving. Yes, automatic and standard. Okay, okay. Wow, you're the worst. Welcome aboard. Finding the cheese is what they want us to do. Let's just chill. I don't know where they're getting all this weed. If you're that tired, Peter, maybe you should have some coffee. Yeah, or you could have some Red Bull. Red Bull? What the hell is Red Bull? You never heard of Red Bull? It's an energy drink. Here you go, Peter. It's on the house. So, what do you think? What's up, party people? Ah, oh, what the hell are these things? Curtains or something? Boring! Holy smoke, it's crowded in here! Hey! There are, oh, that's terrific. That opens up the whole room. Peter, there you are. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. Oh, so I had a few Red Bulls, drove to New York. What's a big deal? Hey, here's my little man! <laughs> Done! Wow, Dad, that was pretty cool. Can I try some Red Bull? Oh my God, can you try some Red Bull? Chris, I take it as an insult if you didn't. Here you go, have some cans. One, two, three, four, five, go on. Take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up. That's what Woody Woodpecker says. All right, I'm gonna go outside and milk the cow. Hey, now where'd you get that cow? Oh, that's a silly question, Lois. I bought it so we can have fresh milk every day. <laughs> Whoa, boy, that Red Bull's some strong stuff. Yeah!
three. Mama! What are you doing out of your box? Hey, Megan. Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. <laughs> Okay, Peter, this is for the win. Say the word, what? Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, this uh, really separates the men from the boys. Uh... Peter, just say what. Yeah, 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 Lois, Lois, this is not a race. Um, okay, I want to say who. Uh, boy, uh... Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, uh, steak, 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 uh, small amount of peas. Um, is it what? That's right! You win, Peter! You did it! I guess I can deal with it. After all, I put up with Peter always thinking it's the rise of the machines. We don't have long. Jeez, how many penis-suppressing straps can one guy own? Hmm, Donna might enjoy trying to sneak her bottom into these jeans one cheek at a time. She can't dress wet. She gotta be dry. Bye, Glenn. See you around. Who is that? That's the box I was going through last night. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Hey, Peter. Hey, you know how drinking's the most important thing in any of our lives, but we never say that out loud? Seems like we should talk about that over a drink. Yeah, well, anyway, we thought that since it's such a nice day, we were going to get some beers and drink outside. You want to come? Yeah, that sounds good. Let me just check with my secretary and see if I'm free. Uh, looks like you're free till, uh, four, Mr. Griffin. Everybody drunk! God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we going to find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps them next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, yeah, I got him. So, uh, you need help with a delivery? Nope. Need to put any vintage comics in plastic sleeves? I think we're good. All right, well, I'll just stand in the back and play with myself over my jeans. That was really great, Jake. Really, really great. Your face is upside down, so we're not going to pick you, but thanks for coming. Come on, just change the ad. I'm upside down for peanut butter. That's one right there. Peanut butter turns that frown upside down. That's two. I could keep going. Peanut butter is... You got two good ones. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. Damn it! This has been a worse trip than my visit to the Museum of Flight. Damn it, you guys are ruining Thanksgiving! And it's my second favorite holiday, right after pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Oh, uh, well, today he's wearing yellow pants, uh, yellow shirt, 
yellow hat, yellow shoes. Uh, he's got a gold tooth, uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. Uh, he's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Could you be more specific? Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, drives a Mercury Cougar with a crown on the dashboard, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks anyway. Hey, Reggie! And this is the Fightin' Lil. She's a B-17, and she flew the most bombing sorties in the European theater. Huh, interesting. And, and where is Snoopy's doghouse? That was stolen by a fat guy in a ski mask. Oh, so still no lead? And look at this couch! Somebody threw out a whole couch, and it's in great shape. Yeah, you put a little Febreze on that, scrub it out a little bit, look great in your apartment. You know what? I, I, I know we have a dangerous job to do here, but I'm taking this. I'm taking this couch. All right, ready? All right, one, two, three. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, easy, easy, okay. easy, easy, all easy, easy, right. easy, easy. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 what? stop, stop, what? stop, what? stop, stop. What? No, 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 no. Twist it. I am. No, 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 I... no, 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 no. Other way, what? other way. You twist it the wrong way. What do you want me to do? Just look down. All right, just, just look, look, look at me. Look what I'm doing. Yeah. All right, see the way I'm twisting it? Yeah. All right, turn it that way from your end. Okay. Okay, just, no, 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 all right, all right, just, uh, hey, just put it, put, put it down, put it down, just drop it, all right, drop it. all right, all right, let's, let's just hang on and figure this out. Huh, there are stormtroopers all over the place, shouldn't we be getting out of here? All right, all right, all right. okay, all right, okay, I, I, I got it, I know what we're gonna, okay, okay, all right, you, we, we, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cushions off, unscrew the legs, take the mattress out, and this whole thing's gonna be a lot simpler. It's easier than we're making it. All right, go, 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 all right, twist it counterclockwise. I am twisting it. You're twisting it the other way. No, I mean counterclockwise from where I'm standing. So, so that, so then you, so, so clockwise. So yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So you twist it clockwise. And okay. Okay. Go. Ah, all right, all right, you know what? Put, put it down. Put it down for a sec. My fingers are killing me. Huh? And they're shooting at us. All right. You know what? Lift it up tall ways. Okay. Put, oh, for Christ. Oh, it's wedged. It's wedged. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? It's not going anywhere. Let's just take off. We'll deal with it later. All right. You get in the cockpit, and I'll, I'll just, I'll hang on to this thing as we go. You say you can't get man stick? Here. This is ground powder from a rhino horn. Take two of these and watch bring it on. Wow, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, d I don't know your name. I'm just gonna make a noise. Tell me if I'm close. <coughs> no, that is my brother. My name is Caitlin. Well, thank you, Caitlin. When I get home, I'll transfer enough money so you can rebuild your town. You've all been very kind. Now, everyone hop in place and pump your fists in the air as we walk slowly to our vehicle. Pizza Griffin, 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 Piz
Peter, you've got to change his mind. He's got to stop taking those pills. You're right. If we don't fix him soon, it'll be a bigger disaster Good than... Good morning, everybody. Oh, for God's sake, Meg, you ruined the setup. Yeah, how come you're not wearing your bell? Did you chew it off again? It keeps me awake. And I should be allowed to enter rooms unannounced. Not while I live and breathe, Meg. But yeah, we'll get Chris straightened out. All right, class, today, as a special treat, I'm going to show you this fascinating episode of Nova that I taped at home for you. You coming back to bed, Rob? Oh, hang on, honey, hang on. My jaw keeps locking up. Oh, well, that's uh, not Nova at all, is it? <laughs> that's a sex tape I made with my wife. Of course, nobody here is interested in seeing that sort of thing. Are they? Probably not, no. Okay, oh, you kind of looked like you were nodding. Nope, okay. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just morning, anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This basic anus. Decapitation in slow motion. Anus. Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Huh, sounds kind of pointless. Oh, you mean like your feet? <laughs> this is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. I do feel I know you a bit. You do feel you know me a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that's that, that's that's fair. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo with your partner, I'm guessing. Or is he your husband? At a quick glance, I'd say there's roughly a 26-year age difference between the two of you. Taking into consideration the math, he was probably born at a time when the most popular name was Michael. <sighs> I see a prescription for heart medication on that table. My guess is you keep that at the office. You don't want to worry, Michael, you say to yourself, even though the truth is it embarrasses you. And your office is your haven, since Michael doesn't work and is often at home, perhaps as a result of a low-level depression that you don't really want to get into with him. You seem like a very lonely little boy. Oh, my God, I am! I'm so lonely! <laughs> oh. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell, to the boiler room of hell, all the way down. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Um, God, will Taylor Swift and Katy Perry ever reconcile their differences? What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for the gay guy who can answer that one. You speak with a British accent. Yes, I'm aware. Well, I've often been told that I have a British accent. Oh? I apologize, but I can't hear it. That's odd, because everybody else does. Have you spent much time in Britain, then? No, I haven't. Excuse me? I said no! Really? Everyone hears this? The point is, Stewie has a British accent. That's like a known thing. Ask anyone. It sounds like it's very important what other people think of you. Oh, is, is that what it sounds like? To me, it does, yes. To you, it does. I see, I see. When is Brian coming back? Oh, never. I'm having him euthanized. Euthanized? Oh, my God! Come on, come on! Euthanize, euthanize, euthanize. Oh, my God! I gotta do something! Damn it! Now I have to do that with every dictionary here! Hold on, Brian! Hold on! The point of the story is I know what it's like to feel alone and to have to pretend that you're something you're not. And I don't pretend I'm something I'm not! I never said that. You just said it! I might have implied it. Maybe I'm worried nobody's going to like me. Look, I'm different, Dr. Pritchfield. I'm not like the other kids. Have you ever thought of just being yourself? Your real self? And then see what happens? Everything about me is this carefully constructed persona designed to keep people at arm's length. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, 
This is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. This is hopeless. There's no way to guess what their target is. Final boarding call for the Are We Ready to Attack? We Are and Many People Will Die booze cruise. Okay, I got a feeling about that one. Guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it. You wanted to ride the jet ski. I wanted ski. to ride the jet ski. Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, he was putting us on, huh? Chevy, right? That, that would have passed for funny in one of your movies, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, the hell with you, I'll use the other bathroom. Somebody's in here. Oh, excuse me. Good morning. Lois, since when does an elephant live here? Uh, he's an exchange student, don't you remember? Uh, don't you feel foolish? Well, how long does it usually take you? I don't remember. Oh my god, that is such a bunch of crap. I... <laughs> Joe, I need to use your bathroom. Sure, Peter. What? What? It, I, I don't... It... Uh, wait, how do I... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be way too complicated for you. <laughs> Cleveland's old house, perfect! Damn, no toilet paper. <laughs> hey, Joe, can I borrow this? Sure. Now, let's talk about... <clears throat> Stewie, can you hand me my heart medication, please? Except... There's one person that does know the real me. Mmm, yeah, listen, you're not gonna like this. You were super helpful, and this, this kind of seems like a crummy way to repay you, but I'm not going to get it. I guess that's what happens in therapy, though. No, it's not. Ah, you're right, that didn't make much sense. Any indication how much longer you're going to linger? You're still pretty chatty, is, is why I'm wondering. Don't do this, Stewie. It will stay with you forever. It's kind of no bigs. Barbara! Barbara! Oh, didn't you hear her go to lunch? So, this is how you leave me. Sorry. I feel less bad. Leave a massage. That one can't be right. It's Michael. I want a divorce. This is not your day. What are you doing to Dad? What? I'm going to the grocery store. Don't forget the cucumbers, Peter. All right, where's that? Oh, hey, you're right, because of that thing we started doing. I felt dirty for an hour, but it's gone now. Now I just can't wait for night. I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird, but strong. Like Danny Trejo. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. A loaf of milk, a container of bread, and a Joe Dirt DVD. Joe Dirt DVD, Scarlett Johansson, and treasure from a fish tank. Oh, not you. Oh, sorry. In fact, everyone but you. Hi, everyone but him. Hi. So what are you kids doing in school? I got in trouble for saying something insensitive to trans kids. A few of them started this acapella group, and they're all kind of chubby. So I said, you guys should call yourselves the trans fats. <laughs> Meg, you'll sit next to me this evening. But, Dad! I'm sorry, Chris, you've fallen out of favor. Perhaps forever. We'll get to the specials, but first... I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. I'm finally ready to hear the specials. All right, here comes the fight. Get ready to eat it, Drago! 
What the hell? Son of a bitch! Those rusky bastards changed the movie so Drago wins! This aggression will not stand. I'm writing Vladimir Putin an angry email. Dear Vladimir, hope this email finds you well. I'll get right to the point. My friends and I were aghast when we saw what you did to the end of Rocky IV. Everyone knows that any American can beat up any Russian on any day of the week. Chris continues to hit the books as best he can, and his grades have shown some improvement. Stewie is growing like a weed, and Meg has become a woman in front of our very eyes. And send. I think we lost a little steam there at the end. Oh, man, what am I going to do if I get fired? I'll have to go back to my old job as a Calvin Klein model. I don't want to be just like everybody else. But I don't want to be different. I just want to be. What was the name of the bad guy from Tron? Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Oh, man, Lois, all I got to do is have a spiritual vision. I've, I've had one before. Oh, my God, Brian, there's a message in my alphabets. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Oh, God. Feels like there's accountants cranking ad machines in my head. Dick, you ever wonder what's outside those walls? Say now, that's dangerous thinking, Paul. You best stick to your work. <laughs> okay. Come on, Meg, let's go. Fox is running one of those new reality shows at 8. Fast animals, slow children. Come on, guys, wait up! Oh, dang, I got honey all over my legs. Oh, remember when you got drunk off the communion wine at church? And so the Lord God smote poor Job with festering boils all over his body. Oh, man, I hate it when he tells this story. Yet, miraculously, Job was still able to retain his dignity. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? And then there was that time at the ice cream store. Ha, <laughs> butter rum's my favorite. And remember you had an Irish coffee the day we went to see Philadelphia? <laughs> I got it, that's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> Face it, Peter, you're addicted to television. And you're not exactly Mr. Cold Turkey either. Remember that time you tried to give up candy? I'll ask you one more time. Are you sure you didn't eat anything in my factory? No. I'm just asking. What are you, calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying. Hey, shut up, Wonka. Of course not. This isn't the first time I've had to find my own food in the wild. I get a buggy, 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 buggy. <laughs> Dumb broad. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Could have been a lot worse if the cops knew about those other times I broke the law. And there was that time I took a whiz in public. And that time I snuck into Wimbledon. That I didn't really stand up to that tank in Tiananmen Square. Oh, screw this. I just came over to buy some fireworks. You were right, Lois. TV is evil. You know, I hear that Manson guy watches it in jail all day long. If I haven't seen it, it's new to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want anything to do with neighbors. Last guy who lived next door borrowed my toaster. Never saw it again. If that slut wants full custody of the kids, she's got it. You could, uh, you could do your impression of a barbershop quartet. We were sailing along. On Moonlight Bay, we could hear the voices singing. They seem to say... I mean, I'm so bored I can't even watch TV anymore. All the shows are starting to run together. This show contains adult content and is brought to you by the letter H. Ah. Uh, uh, hello. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'm on my way. Some poor bastard got his head blown off down at a place called Hooper's. <coughs> Bert, I wish you wouldn't drink so much, Bert. Well, Ernie, I wish you wouldn't eat cookies in the damn bed! Bert, you're shouting again, Bert. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, you guys. We all did stupid stuff when we were kids, right? I remember this one time I tried to sneak into an R-rated movie. Lois! If Liza is wrong, then I don't want to know what right is. Two minutes to curtain, Miss Minnelli. Oh, come on.
Come on, baby. Mama's got a sparkle. It's time to make life a cabaret. Lady, for God's sake, I'm just a hard-shelled chocolate candy. Get help! But, uh, you know how lousy I am with housework. <laughs> Remember when I tried doing the laundry? Ah, let's see, shirt, pants, shirt... Hey, I'm missing another shark. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Narnia. I'm Mr. Tumnus. Hey, give me back my shark, you goat bastard. Uh, hey! <laughs> talking about? I'm a great driver. <laughs> Remember your trip to the Southwest? Beep, beep. Ah, oh, jeez, did I just hit that ostrich? No. Are you sure? Yeah, he's fine. Keep going. I just hope she accepts my peace offering. I sent her a little something for the baby. God's sake, if I wanted to marry Lola Falana, I would have. <laughs> Look, Lola, this whole thing's just going way too fast for me. <laughs> Jeez, Brian, this isn't what I was expecting. I thought being a hero would be all fun and games. <laughs> Sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> all right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. Stop this. Can't you two go back to the way you used to be? Oh, boy, do I know that feeling. Okay, man, okay, you are really throwing me off. It's step, kick, step, twirl. Got it? Oh, I thought we were just gonna rumble with those greasy sharks. Not without seven years of ballet and two of jazz tap, we're not. From the top, people! Look, why don't you just hang back and stretch? Okay, I just hope he doesn't need changing. I'm a little gun-shy after what happened last time. No, 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 you imbecile! That's not talc, that's paprika! Ah! Take that! They're about to see a real hero in action. To the Batcave! Uh-oh. Ah, ah, oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Ah! Uh, I don't think you should use the word freak, Diane. Some people might find it offensive. Finish your oatmeal, son. Why bother? I'm just a freak! Yeah, except for the time Dad hit that deer. Yeah, look, looks looks like it's just a ding. Uh, you know, there's, there's no reason to get the insurance companies involved. Well, you know, I should still take down your information, though. Really? Because, would... you know, you, you could probably just buff that out. I yeah, mean, but no, I, 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 really, I, really, I would really feel better if I got your information. You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely! I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um... Number one. Number two. Um, about the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Uh... Five. And six. Uh, about the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. This calls for a celebration. Can you all stay for dinner? Aw, oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. It's Peter, go Peter, up to Peter, yo Peter. Let's see, Reed just wrapped this way. Can't touch me. <laughs> Except for you. You can touch me. Well, you might want to do something about that first. What? Quick, shoot him, Chris! What are you waiting for? I... I... How do I know which one to shoot? What? How do I know which one is the real dad? I... We, we, we never switch... Wait, wait, we don't even look the same! All right, when's my birthday? Ah, oh, crap. February 8th. Ah! Dad! Yeah. That's more like it. Everything started with the Big Bang. It was a Saturday night, and God and his roommate, Chugs, were arm wrestling. Ha ha ha! You going down, man! 
Oh, dude, that is sick! Yeah, undefeated! Oh, wait, 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 here, here comes another one. Quick, give me your lighter. Are you looking for the perfect breakfast meal? Try Post Raisin Bran, made with raisins, which are grapes that have been dried in the sun for a long period of time. And bran, the hard outer layers of cereal grain. Along with germ, it is an integral part of whole grains. When you eat raisin bran, it fills your stomach and keeps you from feeling the sensation of hunger. Hunger being pangs in the belly as a result of lack of nourishment, thereby sending signals to your brain telling you, Hey, I'm hungry. And when you hear Mr. Hey, I'm hungry, be sure to have a hearty bowl of post-raisin bran. Again, made with raisins, which are grapes that have been dried in the sun for a long period of time. And bran, the hard outer layers of cereal grain. Along with germ, it is an integral part of whole grains. Post raisin bran. Made with raisins, which are grapes that have been dried in the sun for a long period of time. And bran. The hard outer layers of cereal grain, along with germ, it is an integral part of whole grains. Post raisin bread. How awesome is this? Going out to dinner with my new family. Hi, can I help you? I want, I want that one. All right, hold on. We'll get you that one. I want straws. We'll get you a straw. You want a kid's meal? No. Do you mean yes? Yes. Okay, one kid's meal. And what'll you have, honey? I'll have a fish sandwich and a sanka. Oh, he's adorable. Say hi to the nice lady, Peter. Mm. Oh, he's shy. Oh, Larry, that was unexpected. Shh, we'll discuss this later. I have to get back to my high school. Oh. Where I work. Oh. As a janitor. Oh. To pay for medical school. Oh. That I'm building. Oh. Out of popsicle sticks. Oh. We now return to cutting in line in front of Italians. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, hey, Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? <gasps> I must notify Gossip Girl. Pass this along to Gossip Girl. It's me. I'm Gossip Girl. In fact, just last summer, I went back to visit Jesus Christ. Turns out his abilities might have been exaggerated a bit. God, does everything have to have a mascot these days? I mean, look, there's a lion in overalls on the aluminum foil. I mean, who was that for? No, Lois, don't get that one. Get the one with the lion in overalls. Oh, hold on. You have a choice. You can have the boat or the mystery box. What, are you crazy? We'll take the boat. No, no, not so fast, Lois. A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. Then let's just... We'll take the box. We'll take the box. You gave up a boat for free tickets to a crappy comedy club. Come on, Lois. You're acting like this is the first time I've ever done something stupid. You remember the time I was supposed to get that boat? A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. Then let's just... We'll take the box. Peter, that just happened ten minutes ago. When shuttles blow up, it's not always an accident. What do you mean, not an accident? Who is this guy singing? And who am I, a conspiracy fly? Did you know NASA means deceive in Hebrew? I did not. The Denver airport was built by the Illuminati. Peter, shoo that fly out of here. I will as soon as I find out if he has a band from the Apple Store podcast I can listen to. I do. It's fly on the wall dot buzz slash truth. First, reconfigure your DNS server, then download a VPN and get the Tor browser! It's too much work.
I'll pick some up this afternoon. Francine, you be very careful out there today. We're at Terror Alert Orange. Which means something might go down somewhere in some way at some point in time. So look sharp! It's even worse than trying to cover anything with saran wrap. Perfect. Can't wait to throw that out in two weeks. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80s Show, Wonder Falls, Fast Lane, Andy Richter Controls the Universe, Skin, Girls Club, Cracking Up, The Pits, Firefly, Get Real, Freaky Links, Wanda at Large, Costello, The Lone Gunman, A Minute with Stan Hooper, Normal Ohio, Pasadena, Harsh Realm, Keen Eddie, The Street, American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Hey, what's with the stairs? Why do they look different? Oh, I'm trying to prove that Peter's the one cussing in the house, so I waxed the staircase for him to fall down. Hey, Lois, have you seen my Spider-Man socks? I can't see the... Ouch! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness gracious! That smarts! Oh, my! He got! Well, I'll be! Yikes! Peter, when did you become so polite? Oh, I've been hanging out with Caillou's beta dad. In fact, I'm meeting him at the park to eat unsalted saltines on the swings. I feel like you're wearing what Rachel Maddow would wear to a pumpkin patch. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... Uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. We're here live in our studio where a checkout girl in a cheap dress who wants to be a model is ready to draw the winning numbers. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Snowman! Eight. Two sailboats! 44. 17! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is 17. She's good at 17. Well, folks, those are our winning numbers. Good luck to all of us. 24! No, that's it. We're done. Anyone watching, do not count 24. Pancakes! Okay, I don't know what she's doing now. Somebody turn the machine off. N Nikki, Nikki, that's good. That's good. Go, go wait in my car. All right, you did good. Gonna take her to Walt's Roast Beef. Tasty juice. Drink it, then convert it to pee. <sighs> well, 
Looks like someone was up late. Yeah, I tend to sleep a little longer when I'm resting under a big furry bear. Oh no, they are doing gay jokes without me. Good night, morons. You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Ah, oh, damn it. What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. Oh, oh, it's so cold and it's under everything. Oh, I feel like I'm rooting around a pitcher of sangria. Uh, where is it? Oh, my God, why haven't I found it yet? Oh, no, I didn't roll my sleeve up far enough. Oh, why didn't I flush when I got in here? Oh, this isn't even all mine. Oh, no, there's a spider crawling on my face. Oh, why didn't I use the hand that was on the floor? Why did I use my toilet hand? Oh, wait, here it is behind the toilet. Hey, Dad, when you said Chris finished his homework, were you talking about me? Because if you were, I think he just lied to Mom. Chris, everything I say is a lie. Except that. And 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 that. <laughs> wow, Joe's instructions were perfect. Well, who's going to kill Hitler? Peter, I gotta admit, I'm not comfortable with this plan. Yeah, I know he was evil, but do we really have the right to take the life of another human being? Human being? It's Hitler! Wow, the middle-class morality of Brian Griffin. Hitler head, yo! He cried like a bitch when I did it. Let's get out of here. This is gonna be worse than that time I was stuck behind Robert Lozier at the airport. May I have your name, please? Robert Lozier. Can you spell that for me? Certainly. That's Robert Lozier. R as in Robert Lozier. O as in, oh my God, it's Robert Lozier. B as in, by God, that's Robert Lozier. E as in, everybody loves Robert Lozier. R as in Robert Lozier. T as in Tim, look over there, it's Robert Lozier. Space. L as in look, it's Robert Lozier. <sighs> this isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person.